Hello everyone. I'm back with how to make your own background music so that your game can be unique. Okay, let's start. Before we start, let me give a basic idea so you can see the music score at the top. And basically, this marker node on will act as a line in the music score, and then this moving line will act as like the reader that keeps moving from left to right and each boost eyes node on will be the music note like for example this one it represents g to summarize there are three steps the first step is to create this marker node on the second step is to create this single note and the third one is to link multiple lines together In the first step, we are going to create a blank music sheet. To do that, we have to create a line marker node on. We go to output, other marker display and then line. We increase the size. Basically, there is a thin line here and it will move according to this input. When the input is zero, the line will be here and if the input is 0 0.5, it will be here. And if the input is 1, the line will be there. So this will be our blank music sheet. And this line will represent where we are reading the note right now. Okay, so let's try moving this line. We need a counter to count how far the line has been moving. Then we need to increment this counter with the constant input 1. And then we need a map to map the value from the counter to become 0 to 1. So we need convert map. We set the output of the map to this marker node on. To set the speed, how fast we want to read, we have to go to the counter configuration and then set the starting value to be 0. The mode is range. The value of the counter increases by 60 every one second. So let's say if I want to read the whole line of music in 10 seconds, I have to set this to 600. Then at the map, I have to set the input to be from 0 to 600. And the output range is 0 to 1. Okay, so now you can see that the line is now moving from the starting to the end. And this line will help reading the music notes. Now we have got the blank music sheet. We need to add a note. To do that, we go to middle boost eye. And each boost eye will act as a note. Then we go to the configure. We set the output to be digital because because we want it to be either play or not playing. So we change to digital and the range, I change the minimum to be 0 0.01. And the shape is rectangle. So here you can see that when the marker is on this bull's eye, the value is 1. But when the marker has left the bull's eye, the value becomes 0. And when it is 1, we want to play some music. So we go to output and then play sound, play instrument. Here I change it to be violin and the first note is G sharp. Okay, close it. Then I link the output of this boost eye to be G sharp. Okay, and that's our first note. And the second note only takes one tempo. So yeah, the size is half of the first one. And then I need another play sound node on. This one I change to B. And then I connect the output of this boost I to play part of this B. And then I keep repeating this for other notes. Next is the high F sharp note. So here I need to copy the F sharp note here 
But I need the pitch to be higher, like one level, right? So here I add a constant, and then add one to the pitch. Then I connect this one to the play part. Then let's say I need more lines of notes. Let's, for example, if I need three, I need to copy this marker node on. Okay, let's say that I need three of them, and then I need another marker node on to control which line I'm reading. So I go to output, other marker display, and move. Then I expand this to make sure that it can fit three squares. And let me rotate it. Then I need a counter to count how many lines I have read. So here, meter, counter, counter. Then I need a map to map from 1, 2, and 3 to 0 to 1 instead. Convert map. So I change the range of the counter to be 1 and the range is from 1 to 3. Okay. And this map input range is 1, 2, 3. And the output range here is from 0 to 1. And I connect the out map output to this marker node on. And we should count up this counter when the map area has reached 1, which means that I have completed reading the whole line. Let me add a comparison. Equal, equal 1. And because this map stops at 1, right? So it can equal 1 for a long time. We need a trigger no done. So this means I will send the signal only once. The output of this trigger will connect to the count up part. So let's take a look. When this line reach the end, the move here will go to the next level. See? Yeah, and that's what we want. When this happens, it means we have to start reading from the beginning of the next line. So we have to make sure that we reset this counter. We want to make sure that the first line is read only when the marker is here. So let's move this to the left hand side a little bit. And then I'm going to add boost I node on to read the value here. And again I go to the setting, change it to be digital. So this time I change it to be one to one. And then the boost I shape is rectangle. So now you can see, right, when the marker is here, the value is 1. And we only want to change the value here when the marker is here. So we delete this. And then we add the multiplication sign. When this output 1, we will play this line. Okay. Let's connect the output of the multiplication to the first line. Yeah, so now it works correctly. Then we have to add the boost I node on for the second line as well as the multiplication sign. Then again, the input one of the calculator connects the output of the map for the X range. And the second input connects to the marker on the Y range. And then we move it here. Now you can see that after the line has reached the end, the line on the second line will continue moving. See? Yeah, and then we repeat the same thing with the third line. Then in the last step, we want to continue looping this. So when the, we have reached the last node, we have to send a signal to reset the counter. But our counter is quite far away, so here we need 
to add a wormhole entrance. Let me rename this to be E, means like the end of this song. Then I add the wormhole exit here. Then I change this to be E. When this E happens, we should reset both of the counter. And then with this, our BGM will keep looping forever. Yeah, and that's it for the tutorial today. Have fun making your own BGM. A few things to note here. Actually, this row, no you can reuse these nodons. Like for this one, I copy all of them because of readability. But yeah, you can co connect from here to the top ones. Also, another trick, if you want to use the neck octave instead of connecting to the constant one you can also connect the output of the boost eye to the pitch input here and why don't i use the 2d marker nodon because 2d marker nodon has the circle shape which can be a bit confusing to use for this music case so lastly don't forget to like share and subscribe also check my gorenke music Bye-bye.